maybe something like the spring balance. So the spring balance is easily available in any market. So you have something in grams, something in newtons, and you have a spring inside it, which if you pull, would give me how much force is available. So if I pull this spring, so maybe I am now exerting 20 newtons force. So I have the strength of pulling it, and I'm just exerting about 20, 25. Oh, this is the maximum strength which I can pull on. So now this spring is going to help us, or this scale is going to help us give what the force is. Now in order to study coplanar forces, we'll consider this as one plane. This is just a drawing sheet, which is placed on a drawing board. And we'll take three of these spring balances or spring scales. So I'll just fit one by one. So this is one which has been fitted here. This is the second one fitted here. And the third one, which is already fitted here. Now I'll take some strings. I'll tie a knot at the center and try and hook these to the springs in over here. Now if you see in over here, this uh, now these readings are zero, zero. The moment I give slight tension to this and just hook up, up with the second part, I'll be getting some readings over here from this particular spring, this spring, and the third spring. Now, this is as far as general understanding is concerned. Now, if I want to put it into practice and see what is the forces which are there. So now I want to understand the forces which are acting on this in these strings, which are directly shown in over here in terms of magnitude. So in this case, it's point 5.5 newtons. In this case, it's 5.5 newtons. And in this case, it's 8 newtons. OK? Now, what we will do is we'll play a simple trick. We'll just insert a paper below these strings and maybe uh, plot points so as to mark where the lines of force are acting. So what we'll do is we'll mark the center point first. So this is the center point, which is marked in over here. Then along this line, along this line, I'll mark another point, which will indicate the force in this direction. Similarly, along this line, I'll mark another point, which is the force in this particular direction. And ultimately, along this line, I'll mark the third point, which will just give me four points. One is the center point. The other one is force along this direction, force in this direction, and this direction. So I have got four points. Now, based on these four points, now I can draw lines of these forces where they are acting. So this is the point from where I will be. these forces are emerging. So what I'll do is I'll just draw lines. bit to a larger scale. So this is one. This is the second. Okay. Now what I'll do is instead of drawing this particular line and its magnitude, I'll just write down only for these two forces what is the reading. So in this case, it's 5.5 Newtons. In this case, also, it's the same, 5.5 Newtons. Now, all of you have studied law of parallelogram. So what I will do is we'll play a trick. In order to determine this force, what I'll do is I'll just draw a parallelogram in the normal style and maybe put it to scale. So it's 5.5, 5, 5. so 1 Newton, I'll put it as, say, 1 centimeter. So 5.5 5 would be somewhere here. Similarly, and I'll draw a parallel line to it. 
okay I'll draw a parallel line to this similarly I'll go at the other end check on whether this is 5.5 yes luckily it's 5.5 only this is a force which I have to still extend further and draw a parallel line to it so this is again 5.5 put my set square at the other end okay and draw a parallel line which will be just intersecting the other part now this is law of parallelogram so I know this force this is 5.5 newtons this is 5.5 newtons I am worried about the other force in this direction so the other force has to be in this particular direction without seeing this if I just draw a line okay if I just draw a line which is in the direction of this particular force which I have not yet studied then I will be finding that this force if you can see in over here has to be 8 Newton now if you see in over here you will be finding that this force in over here is exactly 8 Newton so this force on this side is 8 Newton now you can realize that if you are not knowing one force in this case we are knowing all these three forces but if you at all you are not knowing one force you are knowing two forces you know its magnitude which is 5.5 newtons you know its direction just scale it down and graphically mark 5.5 newtons in over here similarly on this force you mark 5.5 newtons in over here draw a parallelogram and whatever the diagonal is there would indicate the direction of that particular force and the length of the diagonal would directly give you the magnitude of that particular force so law of parallelogram graphically can be studied in this particular fashion you already have seen how to solve the problems mathematically but graphically also you can solve this problem with the help of drawing the figures to the scale so in short this is the setup which tries and explains law of parallelogram of forces and tries to explain as to physically how you can make use of the law of parallelogram to find out different forces and to verify whether these forces are in proper manner okay thank you